Track sick, Ballad of a Badman. That sounds like a Toronto fucking track. Like, what if he just switches the vibe up and goes like Toronto Ute Waste Man? Kiatis! Got all the Kiatis going crazy. You know, but a Ute Waste Man. You know, great things in it, you know. We're in here in it. You know, Kiatis, you know. Uh, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Kiati? Yeah. Nyae? Yeah. Nyae? Yeah. Told you guys, man, that everything always comes in full circle, right? Uh, like, we are slowly going into full circle now. You know, it may not be white artists, obviously, bringing back this 70 sound or, um, you know, whatever sound. <clears throat> it may not be black artists, but rock is slowly making its way back, slowly, um, because, you know, these popular black artists are doing it. And, and now they're, you know, Tori doing shit like this. They can bring that seven. Like the sounds, all sounds always come and go. All right, rap is not always going to be at the top. Unfortunately, sooner or later, rap will go down. All right, Drake's gonna retire. They're gonna retire, and then we're gonna have nothing but, you know, Pooh Shiesty's left in the game, and um, rap may lose its popularity. I'm just telling you right there. Um, so everything kind of just goes in in full circle. You gotta realize that, man. Like um, and YB, yeah, and YB. So you gotta kind of just understand. Where the direction is going. Look at Cardi doing a basically, essentially a rock album. Um, and yeah, it's kind of just kind of crazy when you really think about it, bro. So uh, Trippy Red also doing with Neon Shark as well. And then, you know, Machine Gun Kelly doing his thing. Uh, Young Thug with Punk. Uh, think about it like that, man. We are definitely going in a cycle. Um, if you haven't realized yet. <laughs> I can understand why a lot of people dislike this track just because it is a longer track than the rest of them. Uh, I'm not going to sit there and say that that's, that's what makes it bad, but um, it is a fairly long track. <clears throat> and I think a lot of people are just kind of just used to listen to those slower, um, you know, those 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 um, half time tracks. Uh, that, that Ballad of, of Batman, though, uh, kind of showcased Tori's best vocality. Um, you know, he was definitely bringing the vocality there and um, his range was, uh, was 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 probably the best on that track. In my opinion, um, track seven is Lady on Namek, uh, Lady of Namek. We all know Dragon Ball Z reference. If you guys know Namek, real ones know. I got the good Zaymis Kurosaki kun nandate for all my anime watchers out there. If you watch it in sub, I want to give you a motherfucking hug. If you watch it in dub, you can suck my rub. All right, this is how I feel about that, man. All right, but Lady of Namek, man, is a dope ass track, man. I definitely loved it. Uh, a lot of people said it's their favorite track. I'd still say eighty seven Stingray is a little bit better than Lady of Namek, but. Um, both fire in their own regard. Lady of Nami Slowed is also a fucking vibe. You, know, you can go find me in those comments as well. Um, and yeah, man. like I just think it's dope, man. Um, but I did not do a video. I just listened to it on my own time, unfortunately. I mean, happens. But, you know, I just kind of just, I'd be real with y'all. I don't ever lie to y'all whenever. I don't ever lie when I've, when I've heard some shit. You know, this shit is not fun for me to listen to it again for the first time. All right, you know, um, there's so much music, more music that we can listen to for the first time kind of type shit. You know? Track eight is Pluto's Class Comet. These are some interesting ass names, too, as well. <coughs> like, these are very interesting names, I must say. <coughs> Namekian and Cheek. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. You said you'd be down to smash all Namekian and Cheeks, but I'm pretty sure all Namics are niggas. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all Namekians are niggas. <coughs> when have you ever seen a girl Namekian? So essentially, you said that you want to hit a Namekian. Pulse. <coughs> I 
I'm just saying. <laughs> they for sure all niggas. I'm just saying. <laughs> he ain't type nothing more. <laughs> you know we be joking, bro. Like we be dead ass joking, dog. But this nigga really said he wants to hit a Namekian. Like he wasn't joking about that. He wasn't talking about the glizzy hot dogs. Like this nigga really said he wants to hit a Namekian. <laughs> And they all niggas. Go watch Dragon Ball Z again and look at all the Namekians. They all niggas. Guru, Neil, Piccolo, Dende, <laughs> the old nigga that Zarbon fought. They all niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they all niggas. Oh man. Oh man. That's funny as fuck, bro. There's no surprise, surprise. She's on my radar. The seven I know this nigga. <laughs> I should I mean I should send this nigga to the Google. I should turn the album off, nigga. I know he just didn't rick roll me, nigga. <coughs> I know he just didn't rick roll me, nigga. I don't know why y'all laughing, nigga. Y'all got Rick Roll too. And every other person that's gonna watch this on YouTube also got Rick Roll. So how the fuck you laugh? That's like saying, that's like saying, damn, oh, you got slapped with a dick, but the nigga sla slap you with the same dick. So if I got slapped with a dick, you got slapped with a dick. So what you laughing at? What are you laughing at? And so do I. <laughs> That's funny, boy. But oh, this is also a uh, get into the groove. What is that song called? So this is get into the groove and also um, Rick Roll put together. Nigga, Tory Lanez was like, hey, man, I need to be in Forever 21. I'm going to tell you right now, nigga, if they going to bump Forever 21, if they need, they finna bump this. They, this is the H&M and Nigga, this is the Amber. You know, I know if y'all ain't, y'all ain't been to Amber Crom, Amber Crombie and Fitch lately, but they got a whole ass revamp. The clothes is insane. Hey, the tease is elite at Amber Crombie and Fitch, bro. I'm telling you right now, they, they revamped their whole store. I advise you to go check that bitch out. Dead ass. A little expensive. But it's actually worth it now. You feel me? I love the I love the mix between the Madonna and also the um uh what is it called? The uh <coughs> um Rick Isley. Also, so George Michael and Enchanted Waterfalls, and oh, by the way, Enchanted Waterfalls. Shout out to um, uh, King Wolves. King Wolves was in here, man. Shout out to King Wolves if he's still in here, man. Um, but it's kind of crazy, man. You like, I love how he's going back. He's throwing some samples. He's definitely giving some homage there, and it's kind of cool, you know. Like, um, but at the same time, he's creating his own tracks as well. Those were two tracks, though, like that George Michael hook, and then also using the Madonna to get into the groove. I thought that was pretty cool. So, um. <laughs> yeah, man, this album is, is pretty is pretty solid, man. Honestly, um, so far I think there's only one track that kind of just like misses for me, and that's um, not even misses. Uh, I think it's kind of just like the the long track, which I thought that was still his best track vocally. You know, the vocality was crazy on that one. So, um, yeah, man, this this is this is a pretty dope listen. I'm not even gonna front, man. Like this is a definitely a dope ass listen. And <clears throat> the next track is Stingray 87, and, and we all know, um, if you haven't watched that video, I'll, it is going to be at the end of the video, or you can go just Stingray 87 Miami, it will be there. But I thought that track was, like, one of my favorites. I love that track. I, I love the uh, meow, 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 and whoa, I, I got that vid, so, you know, I can't really sing right now, but that shit got um, that meow, meow, meow. I, I love that track. It definitely gave me that Greek survive too. Watching that shit, we just a little play for a little bit. This is it's a dope ass beat up. I, I know if you, I don't know if you guys ever played like Top Gear. Um, it's like an old ass racing game on the Sega. Uh, it was Top Gear, and <clears throat> it kind of reminds me of this. Look, look. 
This reminds me of, bro. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a Top Gear Sega. <coughs> it, this is what it reminds me of, though. I won't even play. Look, I'm going to play the music. I'm going to show you, though. Isn't it crazy, though, man, like how you already realize, like, back in the day, we used to play this game right here, and we used to have hella fun. Like, we used to have hella fun, bro. This game was the shit. Could you imagine playing that back in the day? That's crazy. <clears throat> and um, Hotline Miami type shit, for sure, man. So, I always say, man, it's kind of it's it's kind of um, wild, man, like, how Tory Lanez is kind of capturing this sound, man. It's pretty dope, bro. Like, I love the 87 Stingray track. One of my favorite tracks on that album, man. Definitely, bro. Uh, track 10, Hurt from Mercury. For you motherfucking, uh, what's that called, fans? For you, uh... <laughs> For you people that believe in the retrograde, the mercury, and all that bullshit, this track is for you, bro. <clears throat> welcome to the welcome to the stream, John, man. Thank you for the stream. First time viewer, man. What's up, man? Miami Vice kind of slow, like Top Gear track, bro. It, it sounds like, you know, the the ending of like, you know, Top Gear. They just they just finished, uh, you know, Miami Vice. They just solved a crime, and then they're finna just go off in the sunset now, like. <laughs> Oh my! Oh, this a vibe. Oh, this a fucking vibe, nigga. My bad. Let me let me get the fucking vibes back going crazy, dog. This shit is fucking insane, nigga. Like what the? I sit in my room thinking I wanna be a lover. Chris Brown would go fucking insane on that that part right there. I'm all of my love, mm -hmm. oh, Oh my, this is a fucking bop. That's dope. It's a dope ass track. That, may, that really might be top. You give me an ass, Spotify. Sample is that. Doom, doom, doom. Okay, yeah. Easy lover, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Hey, this bitch is a bop. See, this song, this is the well, I would say too, the difference between the the weekend and, 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 and Tori. Like this song, this this album is called Alone at Prom. This. That ass feels like alone at prom. If you ever watched like the Wonder Years, you watch them old ass like sitcom shows. Like this is literally like what prom was like in the seventies. Like he's literally capturing this shit to the fucking T, dog. Like this shit is crazy. Like you never know when like when when like when albums are supposed to be. What are they? What are they called? Like not conscious albums. But uh, themed, oh, themed albums. Like, this is a fucking themed album. Like, to the fucking T. The type of shit, like, like they did in the 70s, niggas was dancing like, and niggas was dancing like this. You know, like, nobody was twerking, everybody was just doing this and just. You know, Grand Theft Auto, when they be like, hey, baby. Hey, baby. You want to dance? Oh, yeah. Back in the day when the lamb dance was in, 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 in Grand Theft Auto, they, they used to hit this. Yeah. Ooh, you like that? Yeah. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? If you play Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City, them niggas used to, when you got the hookers, it was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that? Yeah. Ooh, baby, baby. You know, like, <coughs> you got some moves. Oh my god. Did he, did he, he threw the other sample? The, he, the other sample? The doom doom. The doom doom doom. The doom doom. Who samples that? Ah, oh, who samples that, bitch? What other song samples that? The, that doom 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 doom. Damn, I can't think about it. I know what it is, bro. It's a fucking. Oh my god, I know what this sample is. Not the sample, but I just know what, like, another song that uses it, like an old black song, like black, black, you know, black R&B song. I can't think about it. Uh, Papa don't pray. 
Oh, that shit's gonna fucking bother the fuck out of me now, bro. Because I know that shit. That... Papa, don't preach. I'm in trouble. Uh, There's a fucking black song that uses that shit, like black people song. Like, I think it's from Die From Guy by Playboy. Oh my god, that's so dope, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, I guess what you would do then if it's if it's Easy Lover, then you would literally see who sampled Easy Lover in their songs. I <clears> mean <throat> that would kind of just be the best part. But anyways, man, this album man is amazing. Um it's probably I'm glad I haven't done my list yet because um, I definitely have to include Alone at Prom. Um I think this is the best theme album of the year. It captures exactly what he wanted to talk about, Alone at Prom. Um, a 70s vibe, 80s vibe. Um, it, it is is very unique in what it does. It's, it's uh, Tory Lanez, uh, you know, including and immersing his auto tune into the soul of the 80s sound. I think that you know Tory definitely got the sound to a fucking T. Um, the vision that he had, that he wanted to bring forth. Uh, I think that he he executed it. Uh, precisely um, I think that you know from track one all the way to track 11 you know I was uh, enjoying the album from start to finish uh, it was just an amazing ass album man um, Silk Sonic was one of those albums that was fire I think this literally is is up if, if, if what's crazy is the fact that Tory has been canceling all that shit and whatever and all that blah 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 the fact that he's not gonna get his flowers because I honestly think this is better than um than Silk Sonic's album straight up uh straight that's that's and that may be a hot take but I think that, um, yeah, I think it may be better. That's straight up, bro. Like, uh, I, I just loved the the creativity of the um, of the production. I loved how he kind of gave homage to Madonna and he did uh, George Michael, um, you know, a, a, a alone, alone at prom, man. It, it sounds like literally you are one of those greasers and you're going to prom. Um, uh, wait, it's Week by SWV. No, it's not that. No, it's not, it's not. But um, I think that this is kind of crazy, man. Like, Tori is, um, you know, between the album that he dropped earlier this year, The Distance, Her, uh, I forget that what was that called. I think that was called Playboy. That Playboy album was just as, it was fire. Um, I thought that Tori did a great job this year. He did have one album that was pretty terrible that I didn't like. It was the first one that released. But um, for his first year being independent, I think that Tori is doing a damn thing. And he keeps killing the fucking game, man. Um, this album is, is insane, man. Um, I might get the vinyl to this. It's been a while since I got a vinyl to an album. I think that, uh, <coughs> um, I think that is, uh, I, I think Wale, yeah, Wale, Childish Gambino, Fabulous. Yeah, there's a lot of artists that did it too, so, um, I think that this, this album is just amazing in its own regard, man. Like, it's definitely not gonna get the flowers, but it definitely deserves the flowers because, um, this, this shit is, this shit is amazing, man. I mean, if you haven't, if, if you don't like old school songs, then you might not fuck with this shit. But if you are someone that can enjoy the seventies and the eighties for what it was, then you're going to fucking enjoy some shit like this because, um, this is dope, man. My favorite track on here had to be Enchanted Waterfall, The Color Violet, uh, Last Kiss of Nebulon, Hurt from Mercury, um, Stingray. It's, all the tracks are pretty fire, man. There's only one track on here that I really didn't like and kind of enjoy, and that was... Not even that I didn't enjoy. It's just, you know, I would skip around of it. And that's Ballad of a Bad Man. Um, you know, those those fucking Kiatis in Toronto is making these waste man Utes go crazy. You know, nyai. Um, So it's kind of just wild like that. You know, you, you, you feel that. I feel like uh, Tori just executed this very, very well, man. Um, this is an amazing album from start to finish. Um, <coughs> and, and that's all I'm going to say. So that being said, man, uh, if I had to give it a rating, man, this is a 9 out of 10, dog. Dead ass. Um, this is a 9 out of 10, straight up. <laughs> 9 out of fucking 10. So, that being said, man, get in the comments below to make sure you think. Don't forget, follow me on social media, what you hear. Stick around for the stream if you want to stick around. Full video will be on Patreon if you hate the cuts, as always. Um, you know, and, um, until the next time, this is my boy Dev. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Thank you for following. Thank you for supporting. And until the next time, this is my boy Dev. We out. Actually, no, there's one actually song I want to, did he put this song? He didn't put this song on, did he? Hold on. That was Lone Ass. So crazy he didn't put that's so insane that he did not put this on the album like it has to be a deluxe bro like there's no way he did not put this on the album this fuck this song is fucking crazy dog like this song is fucking crazy bro like it is ah, that's dope
dope, man. Hey, man, stick around for the stream if you want to stick around, man. Uh, thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for supporting. I'm going to do, uh, we're going to talk about some more stuff. Um, but yeah, man, till the next time, it's been definitely for your smart things, right? Peace.